just looking for the video to pop up. Hello, 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 everybody. A little bit of a surprise tonight. I told you I might get lucky. Hi, Sally. I might get lucky and get the magazines all set so that we can do a little bit of a sale. And oh boy, guys, I didn't realize how many magazines I actually have. Whoops, sorry, too loud. It is crazy. Hello from Houston. Hello, Devi. I'm going to be listing these. I have them all in a bundle. And once we get a few more people going through, I'm going to go through. And basically what it is is... If you want that right now, Francis, I'll go ahead and put your name down. And the way I run these sales is, this time I'm doing flat rate envelopes for most of it. So you're going to get whatever's in this flat rate envelope for the price of $8.55 is the shipping cost. And then uh, this one is number one, so it's going to be $12. So Francis, if you want this one, you've got a few minutes. We're going to chat and get a couple minutes going before we really get started to let everyone show up. So go ahead and grab your coffee. I kind of like surprised you all. Because I wasn't sure if I was going to get this done. So, Francis, do you want this entire bundle? I'll show you what comes in a bundle. I'll open up each bundle. I tried to put as much as I could into them at a decent price. So I've got kids' quilts. This is two uh, 219. Ha, June 30th, 2009. Baby quilts, 2009. Easy quilts, 2008. Baby Quilts 2009, and then I've got The Love of Quilting from Fonz and Porter, so I have four of those magazines also. I'm not going to be doing individual ones until I get to the books. When it comes to the magazines, I'm trying to bundle them all up by their, the name or like all the quilting magazines or knitting magazines together. So today I have on these bundles for the flat rate shipping prices, I have 33 of those, and then after that we've got magazines, and I have a total of 70 uh, books that I've got a total of 79 between this and that. Hello, Alabama and Nikki. Oh, I probably would because we're doing this entire thing. What I can say, Francis, if you come back and email me, my email is down below in the description box. If you email me on Sunday and these books are still available, no one's picked up these ones, then I'm willing to go ahead and split them. But for right now, I want to go through and just do all the flat rate ones that I can here in the U.S. I know it's not fair. I tried to warn everyone ahead of time that this is what was going to be happening. That it's, if I have 10 or 12, most of these have anywhere between 7 and 12 magazines in each of them. And that's times 40 or 50 of the flat rate envelopes that I have. That's a lot for me to individually go through. But as I said, once time goes on, and if no one else picks this up by Sunday, Monday at the latest, then I have no problem just going through, and then you can tell me which one specifically you want, and then we can figure it out from there. Oh, you're welcome. I, I knew, I told everyone that I was going to be mean, but if... If you watched my Whip It Wednesday and you saw what I had, I had the laundry basket and then three giant stacks of magazines and stuff, and I'm not even much of a collector. Hello, So Denim Quilting. We're going through and I'm going to be showing you all some magazines that I just, I don't need them anymore. I don't do magazines anymore. I kind of create on the fly and I just do whatever I feel like. So having all these magazines buried in the bottom of my closet is doing nothing for me except taking up room and collecting dust, so I'd rather pass them on to people. Most of the time, it's like a dollar, dollar fifty a magazine. There are some ones that will be coming up that are, you know, a little bit more. Some of the books, of course, are a little bit more. And there's different things, like I had these in the original picture. Now these are very, for those that are knitter, these are very hard to find, and they're they're really sought after, so one of them is $15 and one of them is $20. So you have several different designs in them. Just like even with the quilting magazines, you do get a lot of different designs. 
but I figure the going rate is a dollar or two for them, so I kind of like averaged it out a little bit. And as I said, depending on what it is, like I have a hundred quilt blocks magazine in there, so that one's just a little bit more. All right, so I'm gonna get started. Anyone that's catching up, if you guys are checking this out on the replay, remember my RS Island Crafts at gmail.com is down below in the description box. Email me, let me know what number you want. Like this is very simple. This offering of magazines is number one. So let me know what number you want, and then I need your mailing address. Since I'm shipping with a priority rate, it's easier just to do in the US for now. But as I was telling Francis earlier, if you guys want to you know, email me Sunday night, Monday morning, let me know if, ask me, say, hey, is this still available? And I can split it up then. Excuse me one second. <coughs> okay, so this is number one. All of the flat rate ones are $8.55 plus shipping. So these magazines are it's $12, the ones I showed you. So let's go ahead and call that number one. I'm gonna try not to make that loud noise on the table too much, but this is gonna be a very crinkly and noisy video. If anyone needs me to stop and show you one again, just let me know. I have to go behind here. I've got a giant desk. I got a desk full of piles of these. So number two, I got them in. Let's see if I can get them back out. Number two is we have McCall's quilting. So we have a fall festival. These are October 1998. Some of these will have my address label on it. I didn't want to peel. Okay, some of them they peel. I've peeled off some of them. Others of them don't peel off. So they do come off pretty easily. Because these are those glass glossy magazines. Just got to take the glue off. So you'll be able to peel those off nice and easy. Some of them aren't mine. I picked them up at a thrift store. So then we have McCall's. This one is... It says display until 5-30-2011. Let me just get something to put over my address while we're doing this. I mean, you guys eventually will know my address, but not to everyone while I'm showing this. So this guy is 2011. And then we have the patriotic one, July, August, 2011. Now some of these, like this one has a little bit of a tear. Can you see that little bit of a tear right there? So I'm not gonna say any of these are in perfect condition. Thank you, so they're not all like perfect. So this is number two, and this is just $5. So you're getting five magazines. I have to take the time to put them back in because I only have these listed by numbers and not by what magazines are in each. I know I have a lot of Quilts and More and Quilters World and stuff like that, So, and then I have a lot of different older ones. All right, so these are McCall's Quilting. This one, this paper does not come off. I didn't want to tear it off because you end up tearing off of the edge of it, so you could always just trim it off with scissors or a knife. This is 2012. And this guy is 2012. So if you see anything you want, just let me know the number down below. I thought this one was really cute with all the different patterns. This is July, August of 2012. And this one is January, February 2012. So you have more of the Christmas stuff in this one. And that's number three, and that is four dollars. Now, if you end up picking up, you, you decide you want more than just one, I can end up putting them into a box instead. Someone asked if I would do a media mail and stuff like that, and that's just also, it's, it's a little bit more, it's just, it's too much work on top of everything else I'm doing. So, I mean, I know you're paying nine dollars in shipping, but hopefully you're getting a pretty good deal. So now we're into, we got McCall's, our 100th issue. 
This is January, February of 2010. All right, that's it. I think we're just going to have the address everywhere. It is what it is. Really, how hard is it to find someone's address nowadays? I really erased myself and my number and everything offline really well, and yet there's always another place that you can find it. March, April of 2010. Winter 2009-2010. November, December of 2010. And this one doesn't have it on here, so this must have had one of those paper covers on it. So this is, again, displayed till 5-31-2010. So this is number four, and it's five dollars. I thought for the inexpensive price of the magazines, it's not too bad. I would pay, if it's something I wanted, like the quilts and more and stuff, I would be willing to pay that extra shipping. Plus, you know you'll get it in just a couple days. Okay, number five is $10. This one's got a decent amount in here. Okay, here's our quilts and more. See if I put them in any kind of order. So this is spring of 2007. I love Quilts and More because they have so many of the quick little projects and I everything is just, I feel like they're just simpler. They're really got a good look to them, but they're not that hard. Summer of 2009. I've always, I had this come in the mail, but I've always chose them at the store when I did based on the projects that are on the side. Fall 2009. Nice big old tote bag. Spring 2011. It's got a nice zipper pouch up here. And owls are still pretty popular. Summer of 2012. I think they tried to put a bag in each one of these. Winter of 2012. So you got the wreath. A lot of winter quilts. I like them when they show all of the projects right here so you can look at it really quick and spring 2012 I really like this quilt so it's very jelly roll scrappy friendly friendly and they've got the wrapping baskets so that's number five for ten dollars and you're getting seven magazines so I also have some sewing regulation sewing ones for purses I have a knit and crochet a lot of crochet because that was my thing. Oh, number six. Number six is fifteen dollars. Hi, Patty. Yep, yeah, we just started, Patty. We haven't been on for very long. These are all the quilt magazines. So this goes from December, January of two thousand nine up until two thousand eleven. You want number five? Okay. Mark you down. Let me pull number five out. I don't get it mixed in the mix. And then again, if you want more later, I will. We can figure out at eight fifty-five per package. I think a large flat rate, anyways, is like sixteen or seventeen dollars. So in the shipping, it's kind of almost about the same. Becky Heiser. Okay. Why well, I will I will add that too. So all you gotta do remember is when we're all done, email me so I have your address. Even if I've had it before, it's easier for me to just go through the emails one by one, and cross them off and mail them out that way. That way I know I've sent everyone an invoice from PayPal. You just pay the invoice, and then I will ship everything out to you. Okay, facet it looks like. This magazine was pretty good, so there's different applique and piecing, so it had a good mixture. Number six for $15, plus the shipping. Remember, any number I tell you is plus basically $9 shipping, so $8.55. Oh, that one's cool. That one's uh, using striped fabric and how to get that design like that. So that's number six. I think anyone who's looking for something specific should be able to find something, even if you're coming back and watching this on a replay. As I said, I didn't warn you guys ahead of time because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get everything done tonight.
Number seven is nine dollars plus shipping. Oh, we got the Quilter magazine here. This is January 2010, May 2010, July 2010, September 2010, March 2010, and June, July 2011. So you can tell when I got this. Hi, Stephanie. Yes, go ahead and enjoy the chat. If you, I go past, if they get chatting too much and there's one you want and I didn't say, okay, this one is for you. Okay, Robin, you got this number, then just scream it out and do it all caps and yell and I'll catch it. So I thought the Quilter magazine had a little bit more, I don't want to say fancier quilts, but it had more, it had a different style than like the quilts and more and stuff. 21st, an 21st anniversary, wow, I didn't realize they were around that much. I think they used like different fabrics and it was just a little bit different than some of the other ones. For those of you that are into crochet, I have some really good crochet magazines coming up with some rare ones. I've got a lot of books. I bought a lot of crochet books. If someone said it was rare or hard to find, it was like, no, I want it. I got to have that. So this is number eight. This is $16. What have we got in here? There's some the reason. Oh, it's $16 because I've got the quilts without corners. This is a really cool one. So it has all round quilts. So if you're looking for something different, oh, whoever had this had the pieces I bought it used, so there's something already put in there. But this has a variety of round quilts. I loved the butterfly. Let me just go and show you what you have. There's a Hopi Sun. Oh, here's some colored ones. So this has a lot of fun different designs. I thought it was really cool that they're round, so if you want to have just something, you want number seven and number eight. You got it, Becky. I'm so happy someone is taking this round one, because I thought this was just really cool. Of course, you do have to do bias binding, but I think after you do it a couple times, if you've never done it before, it's not too difficult once you get used to it. Alright, number seven and number eight. Number nine is $10. Oh, here's some random things, some leftover ones. So this is uh, AQS American Quilter. These are 2012, 2011s. But I didn't have this for very long. I started as a close. Yeah, I started. Oh yeah, I started to do what you did a lot of bias. So I've done clothing, and that's where I kind of started a little bit too. So these are more. I mean, they're still quilts, and they're still fun, and they have a variety of things. But I think these more have a teaching thing to it. There's some winter. Look at this guy, the little bird on it. And then I had one Mark Lipinski's Fabric Trends, so when he had his magazine, so I popped that in there too. So that's number nine. So for those of you that are just hanging out and listening to me in the background, I might be a little boring today. I'm just saying numbers and dates. Okay. I'm just rearranging. Of course, I've got everything in reverse numerical order. Okay, number 10. Number 10 is $12. See, I really got them in there good. I have a lot of like Quilters World and as I said, Quilts and More, so I had to like split them up. Hello, Beverly, you made it. Yeah, I was hoping that we'd be able to catch some people at night this time. Well, I'll start doing some crafting chats at night too, once I kind of get all my routine all under control. So these are all Quilters World. 
I think these have a nice selection of different types of quilts and stuff inside. They do some things for the holidays and some things with the larger prints. They have a, a, the vest, this was from April 2009. So the whole vest thing has come back around where everyone's doing quilted jackets and quilted vests. I really thought this was kind of cool with the design. So if you're going anywhere that you can wear things like that, I think it works out really well. Or if you just want to wear it anyway, I'd, I would be wearing it around the house and not getting out too much. Nice, fun one for Christmas. So you have some different Santas and stuff like that. It is four fifty two here. I did all types of prescription prescription subscriptions for a while when I first started quilting and stuff like that because I just wanted to see everything and all of the magazines they were so colorful and everything just looks so cool. Pretty much Beverly, pretty much. Number 11, this one's $13.50. Yeah, well, normally I'd be in my PJs too by five o'clock. I like to cook dinner, do my dishes, and hop into my PJs. So we have some more Quilters World here. So you have a nice autumn. These are 2010. That one's really nice. I think the quilting magazines do a really good job with matching the look of the magazine with whatever quilt they have on the front. Butterflies, flowers, signature applique quilt, selvage, oh selvage backpack. Let's look at the selvage backpack real quick. Oh look, that one's pretty cool. And there it is, selvage backpack. Yeah, I don't, I'm really good with my magazines. If they, you know, sometimes they come in the mail, you can't help it, they just come like this. Some of them, this one you can see it came in a plastic sleeve, but a lot of times it just came as is, so it's really easy for them to get ruined. The mail people in the, even just the machinery isn't the nicest, you know. the magazines at the store though that were in the plastic wrapper this is number 12 and this one's 1350 also because I'd like to see what's in the magazine before I buy it so we have some more quilters world we have Asian this one's pretty peace to your heart's content rethink color and reconsider neutrals echo quilting you see another one where you can see as they're changing the magazine just to fit. Well, Beverly, you can always come back and catch the replay. There's Autumn. Nifty nine patch designs. And here's a striking one. And this one's too, Raspberry Lemonade. I was going to say that reminds me of Lemonade. So that's number 12. $11. So this is uh, Quick and Easy Quilting. This is from 1999, but really I find some fun designs in some of the older magazines just as much as you do in some of the newer ones because it's all about the fabric. So I picked up this one because it has Halloween quilting. So it's got a witch apron, creepy critters, and a pumpkin table runner. So I thought these witches were really kind of cool looking. And this one has bunnies in a basket. Let me go back up to 2013. So I just added these in to fill out the bundle. This one's really kind of cool. It looks like it's um, like ruched, you know, 
I think that's the word for it, where you kind of gather it all up to make the flower. Not your granny square, blast from the past, Christmas star. This one's cool. This would be great with the polka dots. Number 13 at $11. Number 14 is $12. So here we're starting to get into the quilt maker. This one's got some Halloween stuff in it. This is the one where Bonnie Hunter was doing the scrap quilt, uh, scrap block each month or something like that. And then as when you at the end of the year, you'd have a whole bunch. It's also got an easy holiday patch pal quilt. So they had different things that they were doing for the, oh, look at that one. They're, oh, Patch Pals. They did a bunch of different ones like this where you could do the animals and squares. And they also did the ones for... Oh, when you donate the quilts for the kids. Can't think of the name at the moment. So airplanes for puddle jumpers. And then there's your animals. There's a turtle. And then there's a doggy. Funky dinosaurs. Project Linus, that's what it is. So they have a sailboat one for Project Linus in there. This one's got a cat and a monkey, plus the bright quilt. And then this one has a dog. So it was during a series when they had all the different animals. So number 14 at $12. All the different animals that you could make with squares. So you could really, if you have, like, I've got the colored bins. So you can make that brown dog and, like, 17 different browns and stuff like that. Oh, when you're doing the string quilts like that, Beverly, it does feel like it's awfully slow going. But then the next thing you know, you've got 25 blocks and you're in good shape. It's almost like doing crumb blocks. It feels like forever. Number 15 is $12. We're still in the quilt maker. So we still have the ones for kids. This one has crayons up at the top. This one's got a raccoon. Scrap Buster New Bonnie Hunter Mystery. And fold and sew, quick and easy technique. So this one's really cool for the scrappers. So it looks like crumb blocks. A ladybug for Project Linus. Nine patch gets a makeover. That's really kind of cool. Look at this one. That's great for those who like garden quilts. Three modern quilts with color with confidence. 44 notions we love. 10 fabulous quilts with four eye-catching applique quilts. When I was pulling all of these out of the closet, first of all, they're in really great shape, as you said, and they're not really dusty or anything like that. But I was surprised as I kept piling them around me on the floor that just how many magazines I'd had. So don't forget, if anyone's a crocheter, I have a bunch of those coming up. Here's our 100 blocks. This is number 16, and it's $12. So this is the 100 blocks, volume 2. Then Quilt Maker Small Quilts. This was really getting small ones. Oh, and I love the houses. So there's one. Patchwork Pumpkins and Houses. Machine Quilting. Love Blooms. Stash Busters, there's some kids quilts. We have some Halloween stuff for fusibles. Easy Breezy Windblown. Now this one I picked up, I believe, at the thrift store. I taped the cover, but it's kind of coming off. But this looks like, for those of you that like paper piecing, I think is what that looks like. And then all time favorite, Skill Building Fat Quarter Sampler Cover Quilt. You can never use up your scraps. I've been trying. And granted, I don't make quilts right now, so quilts do use it up a little bit more. But I think when I did string blocks and I made several string quilts, I was able to empty out my scrap bin a few different times. I thought that was pretty cool. OK, 
Okay, number 17 is $15, one five. We have some quick quilts from McCall's. These are, this one's 2011. Do you think this is one of the ones that I first started buying when I first started making quilts? And that little glue stuff they put on there. 60 back to quilting ideas. 17 fast and easy patterns. Really cute for babies and little kids. That'll use up your scraps. This one has this cute owl quilt. And then we got a nice bag and then the big blocks for the babies to play with. Hey, Carol. You're not too bad. We are on number, we're only on number 17, so you're pretty good. Yeah, the McCall's quilt, the, the quick quilts and stuff, they were pretty good. I don't think they're, are they around anymore? Oh, what is this one? There is a, I just saw a big old bug. Oh, look at that, that's fun. There, look, ants go marching. So there's an ant. Oh, there they are. So ants are gonna go marching around on your picnic quilt. That's really kind of cool. Did you find, no, Carol, I was wondering who it was and I couldn't remember and I, I spoke to a couple different Carols that I thought it was, but I don't see it. So it must've just been something I saw. You said this one, this one is number 17. Did you want this one too? Yes, Becky wants 17. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to get a large flat rate box for you. It's good, and once we get through with all this, I'm gonna have to make a run up to the post office, especially if anyone orders a book, cause I don't have anything to ship the books in. I don't know. Has anyone shipped flat rate on um, the media rate before? Can you just put a book in a regular envelope? Can I put it in like a manila envelope or does it have to go into something special? Yeah, we'll figure it all out. Just when we're all done, just send me your, I have all your, your names down listed, everything. Becky, just send me your mailing address and I'll just figure it all out. Between the two of us, I'm sure we can come up with something that works. Number 18 is $15. And we're on the McCall's Quick Quilt still. So this time we are in 2011. It seems like everything is 2011. This was when they, oh look at the big cupcake, when they did like crinkly stuff and you can see a lot of crinkly quilt. You can see nowadays they do a lot of the, the lines with the rulers and stuff. 3, 3D bouquet she will love for Mother's Day. This one's got a ducky. 16 crisp new patterns. Yeah, cause I'm really surprised, 2013 and these are in really great shape. Oh. Look at the Tooth Fairy pillow. And then this one's 15 Merry Bright and Easy Patterns. And then we have 4th of July. Two Critter Quilts for Kids. Gift Quilts for Kids, Dad, and more. I did keep a nice little stack out for myself about this many of uh, ones that I saved with special patterns in it that I really liked. I can't get rid of everything. You're gonna laugh when you see the stack of books I have. Number 19, this is $10. All right, so this looks like I have a bit of random sewing stuff. So we've got, I was really surprised. I didn't realize I had a Pat Sloan's. 
I knew I had the I can't believe I'm sewing, but this is a Pat Sloan book that helps you learn how to start sewing things in the very beginning so you can kind of get a grasp on a variety of projects so that you know what you're doing. Then I've got Sewing Savvy. I thought these, you could just put a book in an envelope for meteorite. Okay, that's what I was wondering because I'll just pick up some manila. I have some manila envelopes and then we'll just go from there. Some of the books, they definitely won't fit in like the flat rate. So we'll have to see what that is going to be like. But I thought Sewing Savvy books, these were really great because they have a variety of household things. So it's not just like clothes. So you can use different techniques with like towels and tapestry and to make bags and stuff. This was sewn on the table. I was in some type of a sewing forum at the time and I really just enjoyed the different projects in here. So you even still have some quilted things with a ribbon t-shirt, coiled fabric bowl, comfy pillows, placemat, and then again, I remember sewing with Nancy when she was doing the sweatshirts that you turn into a quilted jacket and stuff like that. So what are we, number 19 for $10. Number 20 is $12. Okay, so I've got 501 sewing secrets. Okay, so this is crafting traditions. These are for the multi-crafters that maybe do like craft shows and stuff. So you've got some stuffies, then you've got some knitting, and then there's still some cross stitch and some embroidery. So it has a little bit of everything. Let's see. I'll knock into you guys so you've got some cooking and then you've got some sewing and then we've got the Halloween stuff wait that's coming oh I'm showing you what's coming up not what's in the magazine so they yeah, have cross stitch and then some sewing some woodworking this one combined the cross stitch with so here's the yo-yo ornaments and then you've got the little bit of the wooden thread uh, thread spools and stuff you can make Halloween stuff oh look I have two of them in there I made these Santa Claus mittens that's the reason I got this one magazine for that to knit Santa Claus and then we've got quilting for Christmas family circle Christmas helps and holiday bacon 275 magical ideas angels Santa snowman trees trims and quilts and then 100 Christmas crafts, gifts under $25. I did a lot of these for the cross stitch ornaments. That's the number 20 at $12. So anyone's popping in or for those that are on the replay, just let me know if you send me an email and ask me what numbers you like, just like we did with all the other ones and I'll let you know if they're available. Then after the weekend goes through, I can I don't mind splitting up some of them. Okay, so now we have learned to the crochet. Now for those of you guys that are quilters and stuff, I do have some books. So if you want to just kind of hang out and listen in the background, or if you're not into crochet, I do have some more things coming up. So these I've got the love of crochet from the fall of 2013. I don't think these show you. No. So you get a variety of things, just like with any other magazine. You get sweaters and jackets and mittens. Crochet today. Get wrapped up. So here's an old one that has like different doilies and stuff in it. Heirloom lace patterns. Again, this was one of those things that someone said there was like one pattern in there that I wanted. Or I picked it up as a bundle because of something else that was in there. You see there are some loose, oh look, Humpty Dumpty, that's really kind of cool. So there are some loose pages because this magazine is from 1990 and I got that used. Simply Creative Crochet, I got that for the crocheted Santa baby outfit. And then we've got Family Circle, Easy Crochet, 40 Projects, Sweaters for the Family, Hats. 
And then in with this, I just tossed these in. These are just a couple of free little leaflets that you could pick up at Walmart. But then I have, I have these little guys. This is Quick and Easy Crochet. So this is like the big crochet magazines before they got big and they just had them nice and little. So for those of you that like afghans, I have a whole section of just afghans and things. So some stuffies. This one had the pumpkin. And for those of you that, I know one of you guys bought this from the stuffy sale, so that's where that came from. So that is number 21 at $15. some actual crochet magazine magazines crochet world oh, I don't know how well you guys can see any of those yeah they they cost a lot to be shipping them but if there's a certain one you want Beverly let me know in a few days and I can always just split one out I mean it'd still be a little expensive but it won't be too bad I've got this one for all of the Halloween stuff. And they have a, a toy hammock that's an actual spider that you can not put the spider on if you want. I think that's why I got this one. I thought that was really kind of cool. Halloween. This is an actual football. I crocheted this football. It was very popular. I had to make several of those for different boys in the family. So it's an actual 3D, you know, roundish, whatever you want to call it, football. And then some Halloween stuff. Butterflies and Blooms. Day at the Beach. It's the Fall. And Crazy for Stripes. I know some people collect magazines, some quilters, but I know a lot of crocheters tend to collect magazines. And they like to fill it out so they don't like to miss any. If you ever, if you, if you know which one it's in, like this is number 23 for $12. So if you know, I can always flip through the magazines to see which year, month, or whatever they are. So you know if it's one you need. Try to see some of them. As I said, they have it in the beginning. No, oh, I made this one a few times too. It's a snowman purse. That one was fun. Uh, soccer ball. That's a round soccer ball. I did that and I also crocheted the golf club cozy covers. So we're in the crochet world. This one I think was a little one also and then it just got bigger. This one had doilies and then other things. It's just what's on the cover. Oh, that's kind of cool. Isn't always they have more inside just like with the quilting magazines. Day at the beach. Garden party in autumn. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I also don't want to go super fast and have someone miss out on seeing something. Okay, number 24 is $21. There's a lot of little... Sorry, people are leaving comments. Oh, Ripple Afghans, Carol. Now, those will do you in. Those are a little bit more complicated than I realized, too. You have to really be able to keep up. So this is Crochet Cutie Patooties. So they have a lot of little things for the kids in here. I got it for the stuffed animals, of course, because I was really hooked on crocheting stuffed animals. And then this one has, this one has crocheted wreaths for all the seasons. So you've got a wreath for... Christmas, 4th of July, there's a turkey guy. And then this was for their glow-in-the-dark yarn that they don't have anymore, but you can still crochet the patterns even if they don't glow-in-the-dark anymore. And I think maybe Red Heart has a glow-in-the-dark now. There is an elephant hat and a little elephant bag. So those are really cute. 
This one has Simply Bright, so you've got some mitts and you've got shawls. Then we've got the Thanksgiving. This is a gift bazaar, so it's got a bunch of variety of things. It's not just knitting or crochet. And then these were really, these were one of the ones that was really popular. So you have a lot of different stuff things in here. There's so many different things you can crochet. Work Basket has, again, with the knitting and the crochet and the embroidery. I don't know if you guys want to see or anything. So crochet newsletters, John Deere tractor. This one's got a cat and a hedgehog. I've done the frog a few times, and then there's also little creatures down there. It's got an alien. I did the hearts that, this one is like, um, you hang it from the ceiling or whatever. So I did the bowling on this one too. I don't know if I've made anything out of this. This was an actual uh, subscription, which I always want to call a prescription. So there's a lot of them in here. And each one of these magazines has numerous numbers of patterns that you can make. And I've got the same thing here. These are Annie's Pattern Club. Let me just flip through real quick. Again, no cover on this one. Look, there's a violin you can crochet. I did the deer head on a plaque, and there's a, a Volkswagen punch buggy that you can crochet. Now, Pattern Club also has some sewing in there. It's not just all crochet. Another soccer ball and a football. There's a donkey that's pulling a, cat, a cart. Dog and cat, and then look at that. Isn't that such a sweet picture? Wait, do you see some of the crocheted afghans that are going to be coming up? Now, those are crazy. All right, number 26. Number 26 is $5. I just had some random magazines. So this is Window Wonders. This is for doing stained glass, but I got it to do applique on quilts. So a lot of people were taking these stained glass things and they could take it and make applique out of it. So here's a bunch of gingerbread people you can sew. This is loom beading. So you can make all different looms. There's like a Noah's Ark. Now these, I've never used these, but they are the iron-on ones, so they've never been used, so I think you can still get a good iron or two out of them, and if not, you can trace them for applique. Proud Americans. This one's got a hundred designs, so there's like apples and dinosaurs and oh my. And then these are ducks and geese. Again, they're iron-on. This was when my thrift store actually sold craft stuff. I did go today, and if you guys don't mind, I want to show you what I picked up now that I'm thinking about it. My doctor's office is right next door to a Kiwanis thrift store, and they usually don't have much, but every now and then I go every two months, so I always go and check. And for a dollar, I got this. This is It's got to be a machine embroidery from what I'm looking at, and it's on a for like a tote bag canvas. There was four pieces, but the other two was just weird things that I redonated back to them. So I was thinking about cutting off Myrtle Beach and turning these into tote bags because I thought they were really kind of nice and bright and vibrant. Okay. Number 27 is $5. sure why I have some of these whether someone had given them to me so we've got sheet that you can sew family fun they always have some fun projects in it do you remember back in like the 90s probably where you used the tulip 
color and then you did the, the dot the dot the dot to connect it so this has all the different designs but again I thought it'd be good for doing like applique string it I have made some of these they're fun for ornaments so we got holiday crafts so again you've got knitting sewing and a variety and this is knitting and cross stitch for Christmas you can see the things there so here's a fun one. This was just like random crochet uh, Christmas stuff. So this is got the Christmas mice and it's got Santa and Mrs. Claus and stuff on it with the wreath. And then we got 1983 Crochet World Omnibook Christmas Special. Santa shrink, tree ornaments, decorating your table. Woman's household crochet. thought there were some fun little things and then the crocheted advent calendar I've actually made this you crochet this whole panel you crochet the tree and then you crochet all the little things that go inside it so even if you don't do the whole thing yeah that's what I do a lot too Becky when I do crochet I will just go ahead this one has someone's name on it but it's mr. and mrs. Claus when it comes to crochet I can usually just kind of wing it because it's the same thing all the hats are the same, you just kind of change the stitches. All the stuffies are the same, you're just crocheting round and round, you just kind of change it up a little bit. So I find crochet really easy to make things up, but I can't do that with knitting. I'm still here. I'm just trying to get it all back in the envelope. After I put everything in the envelope, I'm like, oh my goodness, I got to take it all out and show them. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Yeah, just start with the simple stuff and go back. I just, I'm having fun just crocheting my granny squares. Number 28. Okay, this guy's $20. Oh, all right. This might be for some of you that are fans. This was a way to crochet Care Bear pillows. And you duplicate stitch on it, but you can, anyone who knows how to crochet a graph, you can just go ahead and crochet that. So there's all the pillows. And then this is a very rare one, hard to find. So it's a strawberry shortcake. So you can crochet the afghans and it has all of the different, is this all of them or is just strawberry shortcake? Nope, this has all of the characters. So this is the original strawberry shortcake. Then we have Care Bear afghans that you can crochet. Again, a lot of it is you crochet just a white thing and then you cross stitch over it or you can do it as you go. It's really easy to do it. Then I have, this one was fun. You crochet the different creatures and then you put them into hexagons. So here's all of them. So you've got puppies and turtles. I made the turtle one, he was really fun. So you have a lot of those. And then this is another one of those uh, Winnie the Pooh ones that you crochet it and then you cross stitch over it. Yeah, you can use it for a cross stitch pattern, you can use it for embroidery, and then you can either do the crochet where you cross stitch on it, or you can just say, okay, well, I'll crochet white to here, then I'll change to the Tigger orange and then go, which is really easy to. So that's number 28 and that's $20 because some of these are quite expensive to purchase even now. Number 29 is also $20. Yeah, I love Tigger. So here's the Afghan ones for those that like. Okay, you guys, this was very rare and everyone was fighting over this magazine at one point. This is a square that you make with a doll on it and you put your fingers inside and you can make the doll move around. So it's a puppet, but it's an Afghan square. So I thought that was really cool. I made a few of those. Plus then, you know, there's dozens more in there. So seven granny square afghans. So if you're really into the granny square, there's seven of them in here. Those are fun. So that's great because you just crochet the granny square and then you add them together. So then we've got, these are a variety. So they're not just all mile a minute and grannies and stuff. No, these aren't going to be listed on the Etsy shop. If you see the number you want, like right now we're doing number 29. 
And this is going to be the flat rate shipping bubble envelope is $8.55 plus $20 for everything that's here. So each one I'll tell you. If you see one that you like, Naomi, you know, just say, okay, Robin, I want number 29. I will write your name down. And at the end, if you just send me an email to rsilentcrafts at gmail.com in the description box down below uh, with your address, then I will send you an invoice from PayPal and we'll just ship it all out. So here's another one that this one's got some mile a minute and stained glass, some plaids. This one was Afghans by the Pound from Leisure Arts. So you buy the any of the yarn that's a pound. So it just takes that one pound of yarn and you can make one of these Afghans. And if it takes more, there's some of them I think it might say it takes two pounds or three pounds. Yes, like this one takes two pounds. So it tells you what you need. Now here's another one that was very extremely popular. Everyone wanted to crochet this one, Baby's Best. So there's other things that you can knit and crochet, but this rainbow one, and it's really stunning if where the white is, you use black and then put the rainbow. I had a second one of these because if it's, you know, like when you buy a quilt pattern, you really love it, so you buy it, and then you don't make it, and three years later, you buy it again. Maggie's Crochet, she does some amazing things. Now, I didn't print this out. This was sent to me like this. So here's all of her different patterns in here. So it's all printed like that. As I said, I, I didn't personally print that. It came that way. So we did all of the quilting magazines and stuff already, but you can go back and catch that on the replay. And then I do have some actual books coming up soon and some sewing books and more crochet books, I'd probably say, than anything I have to admit to. Because crochet was my huge love before I really got into the quilting stuff. So number 30 is $20. So we have crocheting different slippers. The Converse were extremely popular. Now what's in here? Oh, booties. It must have been an add-on or something that they put in. So they have a variety of different crocheted booties. And then you've got the baby booties. And then these are little, like you can make a stuffed pumpkin. Sorry. And then there's masks that they can wear for trick-or-treating. Let me see. You got that there. So here are all the different ones. I think you just use them as like a stuffy. My kids liked slippers for a while. And these, you put them on top of, you crochet this and put it on top of a jar, like a mason jar. Then you could change it out for what candy you have in, and you change your little guy out on top based on the holiday. And then, whoops, sorry if I touched you. And then these are like Easter baskets, but they're crocheted baskets of love with a good shine to it. I made a few of these. I this one, and then there's one with like an alien. They're the um, the fanny pack, and then you have these little stuffed ones that you can have little baskets and then little slippers and stuff. Oh look, I have two of these. Again, I know I'm not the only one that buys. This is number. 30 for $20. I'm not the only one that buys the same magazines and craft patterns twice. I know that. Number 31 is $25. We're back to some kind of random stuff. The, the ones that cover the uh, toilet paper I don't know what any of these stains are. This is not for me. It's an old magazine. So Crocheted Favorites and Originals by Jesse Abularach, Volume 2. So these are tissue toppers. So these are to cover up all your toilet paper. Again, it was a really big fad at one point, and these were extremely difficult to find, and they're rare. It took me a long time to find these. And then you know what I did? I never made any. So yeah, you put these on, you just crochet them and put toilet tissue in each thing. Of course you can skip that, you don't have to. Now this was very popular and you can do this in Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse colors. I saw 
on the knit girls that their this kitty couches and stuff are starting to come back. So you crochet a couch and you put some foam in it. It's actually big enough for a real size cat. So I thought that was really very cool. Some different winter things to make. And then there's five different bags to make. So you can crochet a scrap yarn rugs. So there's a variety of rugs to make. And then an Afghan and a kitty cat doorstop. Becky, you can do the mile a minute, whether it's crochet or knit, but it's usually generally crochet. And it's got a lot of like the granny stitch style in it and it's just goes super quick. And what you do is you make these long panels like that and then you sew them together or crochet them together. Some of them are super easy and some of them are a little more complicated depending on the stitches. Okay, number 32, we're getting into some of the stuffed animals now. This is $22. So these are like beanbag buddies. So there's a variety of different animals on it. We got more stuffies here. We got safari ones. Now, anyone who does crochet and stuff, Annie's Attic and Leisure Arts, those are like the two big names. A year of teddy bears. So you got 12, oh, 18 very cute crocheted bears. Will you guys see my crocheted um, flamingo? This is the pattern that I used to make that. So these are all fuzzy wuzzies. So there's the flamingo that I made. And this one's really kind of cool because you make it and it comes apart in pieces and then you can put it back together. So it's really fun for the kids to play with. We all went on an alien kick at one point. And then these sock monkeys, they are, I mean, they're super, super, super tall. Let me see where it says. This one has some writing in it. 23 inches tall. So when I had this, I had a stuffed monkey, I believe I sold on the stuffy one that has year long, mile a minute crochet along. Thank you, Cindy. Yeah, sock monkeys are great. And crocheting them, I have fun doing those too. I also have a bunch of the socks that you're supposed to do this to sew them together. Yeah. So maybe we'll do a sock sale one day. You'll fill up an envelope with socks. $22. Okay, so here comes again. This is if you don't crochet, you don't understand why these prices are a little bit higher for just a few magazines. But we have Looney Tunes crochet. So we have all of the characters there. This one was very ultra rare at the time. So Garfield and the characters there. Even the little teddy bear. And then I've made these two. I've made an awful lot of stuff. So these are pillows, so you crochet the pillows. And you guys have seen the troll I made. And then we've got some farm animals. Try to get the glare off of them. And these guys, you put suction cups on them and they stick to the window, but you can also skip the suction cups. And playtime animal pals. So these guys, I wonder how big these are. These I haven't made. 16 inches tall. Oh, when they're sitting down, they're 16 inches tall, but when you put them up, they're 25 inches tall, and they have jointed arms and stuff. So this package is number 33. It's, what did you say? Yep, about $30, because it's $8.55 plus the $22 for the magazines. As I said, I know it sounds crazy, and it sounds outrageous, but some of these I had already spent a lot of money on, and when I've, I've been trying to look them all up online for the most part and see if the prices are still there. And a lot of them are really hard to find, and the prices are up there. I saw a couple of them that some of the things I'm like, that one was like, not these, but there was something that was like $300 for a magazine, and I'm like, that's just crazy. Totally crazy. Okay. Where are we at now? Now we're gonna start going into the books. And again, everything is upside down and backwards, so let's give me a second. Chat among yourself. You would like number 33? 
Anna Taylor. It's yours. So when we're all done, if there's nothing else you want, just send me an email and what's your mailing address, please. Chat among yourselves for a second. Not really, magazines are expensive now and finding an old one is unreal. Yeah. And I have, uh, will you see some of the books I have? And I, if you guys are crochet, if I have any crocheters here, you'll understand, like, you'll be like, oh, wow, Robin, you have that one? And I'll be like, yes, I'm very proud because I worked hard looking for them. But I didn't realize how crazy I was until, <laughs> As I said, I pulled everything out of the closet. Okay, like this one. The crocodile stitch. This was, it came out and they didn't put too many of them out. And I was looking this up on Amazon and I think this one was like $700 or something like that. Or $200. It was really an outrageous price. Don't worry, I'm not charging you guys that much. I tried to look in a variety of places to see what it is on Amazon. And you can't always go with eBay because you know they're bidding, but if it's a set price. But some things are just like this one, it's just, it's ultra rare and very hard to find nowadays. And then other ones are like, I think it's my special, my most favorite book. And then they're selling it for like $2.95. And I'm like, really? Okay, like this guy. Okay, are we at, this is number 34. The Blue Ribbon Afghans. This again was a very popular, and I think it was one of those things where, like the toilet paper incident, where if people went and bought a whole bunch of it, it kind of raised the price. So this was a very popular one on Crochetville back in like 2009 or something like that. So this was a really hard book to find. $5, it's not that hard for me. Cause I said, I tried to look at different places Bear with me, I need a drink break. Blue Ribbon Crochet, $10. These, I don't have shipping prices on it. We're gonna have to take them as they go. Uh, if you guys find something you like, I'll have to figure it out. If some of them will fit in a flat rate, like I said, otherwise we'll do the uh, media rate or just regular mail. I'll try to see what the different prices are. Some of these, they're just, I don't open up my book and crease it or anything. I try to be very careful with how I take care of my books like this. You can still hear it kind of creaking and stuff. Twelve dollars. I guess you guys don't need snowball slippers. Look, that's been in there forever and it still has stick to it. So these are different holidays, so there's a variety of things. This is a really kind of a cool little sled that you can put your candies and stuff in and then the ducky. Captivating crochet. Captivating crochet. Hold on. Captivating crochet is $15. So she got tea parties. We got little stuffed animals down there, little girls' dresses and things like that. How's my mouth? You know what? Um, I got both my upper and my lower dentures yesterday. I finally made it to the dentist. Okay, not to get too personal here, but so my upper dentures, they're, they're partials and not total ones. So there's just a couple of teeth that I had to have pulled out and stuff like that. Because we did those like six weeks after I had the teeth pulled and everything was healed nicely, we put the uppers in and they fit perfectly, not a problem. It's just me having to get used to it. I do not have them in now. I have I wear them throughout the day to get used to them. No adjustments. The lower ones, I've had them adjusted like three or four times and they're still not quite fitting right because they did the mold before I had the teeth pulled. And the dentist is like, oh yeah, it works really better if you do the mold after the teeth are pulled and they heal a little bit. And I'm like, well, if it's better, why didn't we do that? Because it's frustrating to me 
they're not they're still painful and they're not comfortable to wear so I'm struggling a little bit but I'm able I can't eat with them yet because I'm not that comfortable so but I, they're really good thank you for asking I, I'm feeling really good about them just the bottom ones are kind of annoying me so I'm just not wearing them right now I'm letting the gums heal some more after being tortured crochet holiday celebrations in crochet these are definitely not in order ten dollars so you've got a variety of different holiday things favorite throws and table toppers to crochet this one's twenty five dollars this one was higher I tried to like think this was like thirty six dollars so I, I it's got the little spiral thing and everything like that so I dropped it down to twenty five dollars because I mean let's face it we're having a sale here we're not trying to get rich and make money off of it but and to be honest I don't want to sell something for two dollars when I know the value of it is so much more thank you Cindy I it's it'll come it'll just take time and if it doesn't work I'll just go back and get it adjusted again and if it's just too bad well, then they'll just have to make new ones and too darn bad. Deal with it. As long as I don't have to pay for it. Vanna White, Afghans, A to Z. $22. Did everybody know Vanna is really into crochet? She really does a lot. There was a nice puzzle one that I just flew right by that I liked. So soon, you know, just because I can't eat with them doesn't mean we can't sit and craft and chat and actually look at me and talk a little bit. Better homes and garden, crochet and knitting. Five dollars. This one has some, oh there's a butterfly. This one has some stains and stuff again. I picked this up used so it's got some marks and stuff on it. But the inside and stuff looks really good. Annie's favorite babies. Annie's favorite babies. Twenty-six dollars. Yeah, it just takes a while, and it feels like it feels like those mouth guards at the football. Hi, Sue. When you're like when the kids are playing football and they put those moth guards on because it's not the ones with the metal brackets and stuff on it it's like the retainers so it has that piece of like rubberized plastic at the roof of your mouth and down below your tongue and stuff and it just goes it covers so it goes over and around the teeth you already have and then the new teeth just sit down so it's like a cover so it's really kind of cool and interesting but it definitely takes time to get used to Annie's favorite baby projects. There's a cowboy, I don't know if there's a cowboy hat and booties. I know there's cowboy boots in here. That's what this one was really popular for. Little baby dolls and stuff. But if you're crochet, you know. 101 easy scrap crochet projects. $15. This was another one that I thought was really great because just like with scrap quilting and sewing you have a lot of scraps you just need to find ways to use it up so they came out with this book trim the tree with ornaments fifteen dollars annie's attic this has a whimsical 14 piece victorian 21 piece so it's got snowflakes and it's got ornaments and bells and angels Look at that, there's that Victorian set. Really pretty and white with the blue ornaments. I am way out of order here. In love with crochet, $10. Let's try to do a quick flip through for those of you that might wanna see what's in it. I mean, I can't, you can look it up if you want to see the title and Google it and see what's inside. I don't mind checking a couple things, but please don't ask me to send you 50 pictures of everything that's in it. You want the Christmas ornament book? The Trim the Tree? Is that the one you want, Becky? Okay. 
One second, Cindy. I want to make sure I consistently spell Becky's name the same all the way through. And you were looking at number 31. So what you're going to do is when we're all done for the day, you're going to send me an email to rsilentcrafts at gmail.com. If you remember which ones you have, great. If not, don't worry about it. I have you written down. But the main thing is I need your mailing address. And then I will send you a PayPal invoice. You pay the invoice and I mail it out to you. So basically it's all through PayPal. I just need your mailing address. Well, yeah, I mean, if you just send me, it's easy to send me an email with your mailing address. Everything for the most part is flat rate, so it's, it's a set price. But it's just easier for me if we just stick with the same thing all the time. In love with crochet, $10. Okay, so here's the mile a minute. Join as you go Afghan. So you crochet a whole bunch like this. Oh, not all of them. Just this one is sort of like the mile. You, you crochet a big long strip and then you, sew, you crochet them together. Let's see if they have... A lot of different holidays. Oh, look, smiley faces. That's cute. Some granny squares. Oh, this is why I bought this one. I'll tell you that right now. You see that butterfly? I thought that was so beautiful. All right, join as you go Afghans. Join as you go Afghans is $10. Annie's favorite special occasion crochet projects. Somehow I got totally out of order. Annie's favorite special occasion. Bear with me. Annie's favorite baby. 101 crochet. Special occasion, $20. So you have afghans and you have other different projects in here. So there's a, snow, a snowman, a Santa apron. And you've got some holiday coasters. You've got stockings. There is the Thanksgiving favors that I added with the other one with that little bit. There's to do a autumn harvest angel. There's your afghan. And you've got package decorations. You've got wreaths. I did the football one. This one was popular too. So that's Annie's favorite special projects. 150 weekend crochet projects. $5. $5, $5, dollars Look at this. See again, there's no there's no crease along here. I know I shouldn't brag. It's just I've always tried to be really careful, even with the books I'm reading. I don't take the paperbacks and fold them back or anything like that. I just never that's something that just always bothers me. And I don't care if everyone else does it because it's their books. Do whatever you want, you know. But it was just something that irked me. My daughter's the same way, so it works out pretty good. That way we can share books. Annie's favorite quick and easy projects. Quick and easy project. This one's thirty dollars. This was one of the rare ones, and this had. Let's see if we can find out what was so popular in it. Just a bunch of afghans, variety of projects, things for the dogs, the little papoostin carrier for the kids with their baby dolls. This goes over the seat yeah this goes over the seat belt the seat belt goes through here so that the seat belt doesn't bother the kids and they have it on there now I don't know how secure and safe that is but at least it's fun as a stuffed animal the cow so here's our crocodile stitch there's a so you've got the hood you got the hats you got the shawl and you got some mitts 
This does not have the booties in it. So it has that plus the shawl in the front. $8. Now that's a bargain deal if it was like $200 or $700. I don't remember what I saw, but $8. $8. Bargain basement prices. Fashion flowers to crochet. $5. So there's a variety of flowers to go on to purses and on hats. That one's fun. Purses for sassy girls. $3. I made the rock and roll one, so you make a round one like an album. Then there's ones with beads on it for lips. There's a bunny. Basic drawstring. That was fun. And I also made these. These are cute critter purses to crochet. $12. And look, it has an actual spot where you open it up in there. Like, can you see on the cow? And it has a spot for the kids to actually put their things in there. So they can carry the little purse around. And then they have a spot with a button to secure all their treasures. 30 Remarkably Wacky Projects. This cover looks a little bit yellow. I don't know if it was yellow before or it got yellow, but it's like this part right here is white and the rest is yellow, so I'm thinking it might have been that way. This is $6. So Cookie Crochet, I believe that's the lady's name too. So she made a lot of crazy things different foods, boa ball for the kitties, light bulbs, fortune cookies, puppets, hats, flip flops. So she's got a lot of stuff. She was really popular way back when. I don't know if she still is. I'm outside of the crochet. Here's another Christmas one for you. Tis the season to crochet. It's $10. It's got a whole bunch of penguins on there. And then you've got different ornaments. And again, the um, stockings and afghans. So it's not all ornaments, but it has like a little elf shelf sitter. You want the cookie crochet? For Anna Taylor. Yes, ma'am. Just got to find it. I'm going to combine things the best I can to give you the best chance at a good shipping price. So after you send me your email with your address and stuff, just bear with me and I'll do it the best I can. Light and layered knits. Some of these, when we're going to get into a few of these that have been sent to me, and they're like, Robin, do what you want with them. Give them away, sell them, use them. They just wanted them out of their house. This is $6. So you have different things to knit. Some more like summer type tops, I would say, since it's light and airy. You can just layer them with different outfits. So it looks like it's all tops. Then this is a hard book, knitted socks. $6. So you have over 25 designs for fab feet and cozy toes for the whole family. So as you see, this one has a design on it. Then you've got different ones that you can felt them and do the regular. So ladybugs. Sensational knitted socks and more sensational knitted socks. Now, sensational knitted socks. $8 and more sensational $8. Package number 33 for, I think I did. Yes, she got that one. I did catch that one. Thank you. Because she got that and then she got the cookie crochet. So these are $8 each. So we've got sensational socks one and sensational socks two. I appreciate you guys keeping me in line to make sure I don't miss anyone because it's really easy to miss a couple people. So these are where you take socks and you turn them into stuffed animals. So make friends with your socks. I have stray sock sewing and stray sock sewing two. 
So stray sock sewing is ten dollars, and stray sock sewing two is six dollars. So apparently it wasn't as popular as the first one, but you can make a whole lot of different animals. They show you how to hand sew them. You can do them by machine too. So instead of doing like sock monkeys, you're doing more like sock monsters and stuff. This guy was very popular at one point in the sock monkey people, the sock sewing. So here's one for the regular sewers. This is fast, fun, and easy fabric critter bags. So you got like drawstring bags and you can make different things. So you got pillows, I guess it looks like. Lunch boxes, puppy gift bags. It's one of the ones that I felt like I absolutely had to have it and that I never made anything out of it. So this is $10. Yes, that's what I thought. I'd maybe do like a little kids party or something. Debbie Mom's Country Inspirations. Five dollars. So she just got a whole bunch of things in it. I'm not gonna bother going through. You know, if you like Debbie, Debbie Mum's stuff. So here's a quilt one. So you have mini quilts for tra from traditional designs. So the regular quilt designs, but they turned them into mini projects. And they show you how to take a regular look at that. I mean. Cindy, you don't have to worry about deleting your messages. It's okay. I mean, delete them if it makes you feel better. That's fine, but don't worry about it. We don't mind. You are being very helpful, and I appreciate that. Mini quilts is $6. And you're not, you know, messing up with the feed or anything. Whoop, whoop, whoop. 45 great gifts to make from Jean Greenhow. She's got, she was really popular at one point, so she's got some different things to make. 45 great things to make. $5, $5, $5. That was one of the ones when if you did a lot of craft fairs and stuff, that was good to have. So we have quilts for all seasons, $15. We got Indian Summer, Wild Goose Chase, Christmas stuff, leaves, us turtles, Turtle Creek, paper fans. Oh, it's a whole bunch of fish going into the center. I thought that was really cute, but again, I never made anything out of it. Then I thought, you know what? I'm going to learn how to master color. Ten principles for creating stunning quilts. Because I was, let's see, this one, this is, um, it's $25. This is a really expensive book. I think I saw it was for $35. And I know I, I paid about $25, I think, when I got it. But it teaches you, I even got a bookmark. It teaches you about the color wheel and how to do different colors warm and cold it's got exercises and it really taught me a lot and then i decided to just wing it you know you got hue and values and all of that stuff scrap backs basket sewing twelve dollars so you again you go into your scraps and you can make a variety of little things Little stuff things for the kitchen and because you remember this fad because you should always have something right there for your little boys to pee on on the floor when they use the toilet little finger puppets a little heart pocket to put your scissors in we always had those toilet paper the things around the toilet growing up so this is from my kids homeschooling I still have the original uh, thingy from it here so four thousand and more four thousand more things you should know so this is ten dollars and it's just got science and buildings and different countries and they tell you like 
what did you know about China? Did you know the capital's Beijing? Did you learn about population? Here's the Wright brothers. So it's just got little bits about different things. A thousand things you should know about buildings and transport. So that was just, that was just a really fun book that I got for my kids and they thought it was not fun at all, so I read it. Singer's Quick and Easy Sewing Project. I think so many of us have already had this. $8. So they have jackets and shirts and pillows and, and jammies. Cute little kids. So you got a variety of things. Oh, you can make a kite. Stuff. Oh, these are gloves. So it's like a hand puppet, but on a glove. Yeah, I like them. I also, I, I've gotten them because I homeschooled all three kids in various times of their lives. Easy, bizarre crafts. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, five dollars. That Singer book looks familiar. I, yes, I think everyone has that Singer book at one point or another. So you just have a variety of crafts that are good for the bazaars and the craft fairs or whatnot. I mean, some of it is just like no thank you but like the Santa placemat I think that would be really fun on the table oh look I've been keeping this in there to keep it nice and safe I'm gonna keep it in there for now and if no one get well no, I better take it out so that I know where it is find a new safe place for it I just gotta crack my memory on where it came from Okay, so here we go. The Scarecrow family. The, the Scarecrow family from Jean Greenhow. She's a very popular with clowns and knitting and knitting stuffed animals like this and stuff. So this one is $15. I mean, you can basically see all the details that you get when you make her stuffed animals. And there's like, a lot of times you get like firemen and you get, you know, mom and the kids. And there's dad. Oh, that's grandpa. He's got a waistcoat. He's got he's got his pants that go all up to his armpits. And there's Sam. And then I've got the tradesman clowns. And this guy's twenty dollars. And this is again, I gave you a discount based off of the different prices I saw. And one of these, I don't think this one you can't buy online right now. So there's a couple of, this isn't for me, I bought it used, but there's a couple of like little grease stains or something. It doesn't affect what you can see in the pattern, but there are a couple, oh look at this guy. She makes such silly things. So he's got a drippy faucet on his hat and the patterns are just so good because they're not, they're not just like weird and funky. They, they just, they're so well made and you knit them at such a nice gauge and Look, he's got pencils in his little apron, and he's got nails in his pouch. It's just crazy. Okay, now I have a couple more things over here, and then that's it, guys. That's all of Robin's craziness. So let's see what we got here. Number 67. This is $15. We're back to the bundles. Hi, Vicki. Well, Vicki, you can catch the replay because a lot of them are still available. I surprised everyone, so it's more going to be of a replay sale. There's not a lot. I mean, there's plenty of people on, but we're missing a lot of people because I didn't really announce it much. So we've got a Halloween 47 Tricks and Treats, spectacular projects. We've got the Fall Country. This is applique with wood crafts. This is a patchwork pantry, so you have a whole bunch of different little patchwork projects. So you got all the fun little applique that you can easily trace out. And there's some recipes too. Brown sugar cookies. Hmm, that's nice. 50 beautiful Halloween full-size patterns. Again, you get the patterns here and I think you just kind of figure out what you're going to do with them. So you can applique them. You can paint them, trace them out on stuff. And then here's another Disney, this one was a quilt, I didn't know where else to put it, I didn't want to put it with a crochet. So you can make the pillows, there's a little sleeping thing, you've got chair covers, and that's Winnie the Pooh. So that is number 60, 
seven, eight fifty five plus fifteen dollars. Come on, Pooh. Get your butt in there. It's all that honey he's been eating. Number 66 is $10. I don't know what's in here. And once I get it out, I don't think I'll get it back in. Oh. This is for those that like to make bags. So I've got a little bag making bundle. You got brilliant bags, simply sensational bags, and pretty little patchwork bags. So there's a variety again. I mean, look at all the pages. You know there's going to be a variety of bags. Oh, look, they got some ornaments in there too. They snuck those in. Making a headband, scrap top cover, little apron. So I thought this was really cute. So you guys don't have to get the book, but you can get an idea from this. So you sew all your scraps together and then you cut out the frame of the house and then you sew all the way around and stitch it so it's reverse applique, but you're using a whole bunch of scraps in the background. So I thought that was great. I like the set with the Winnie the Pooh number 57. Or 67? Wait, 57? Are we looking at crochet or sewing? Hold on. Let me double check. Let me put these bags away. Is the author of that book Minky Kim of The Pretty Little Patchwork? Um, gosh, I didn't know she did a book. Okay, Anna, don't go away. 67. Okay, just don't go away. It's yours. Senior editor, art director, cover designer, illustrator, photographer. It doesn't say who's creating the things. Does it look like the Minky Kim stuff? Let's see if they put a name under each. Sometimes they do it under the project. Designer by, nope, so it's different people on each one. Wendy Arasich, Joan Morris. So I don't know if Minky Kim's in there. So let me put this one away, Anna, and then I'll take, I'll, I'll mark you down. So you want the one with Winnie the Pooh with the quilt. And the pillows and the chair cover and. Okay, so that one's $10. Number 67 that has this one in it. You're welcome. All that trouble you're causing making me look through a book, I tell ya. Number 65, $10 plus shipping. All right, so we have more bags. This time we got Bag Boutique. And then we got Made for Travel. So these are more, again, I don't know. I didn't put, this isn't me. I think someone copied the page is out to make it easier or something else. So you have a variety of different projects of little bags and such. Yeah, I think sometimes if you can find like a really good deal, then I buy stuff like that for gifts. And the majority of my stuff is in really good shape unless it's very old or it wasn't mine first. Okay, that was number 65. Look, we're getting to the end, guys. We're getting to the end. One Yard Wonders. I think this was the original one. Must be free. I can't find it anywhere. One Yard Wonders. $12. So now this I haven't 
it still has all the patterns are in here already so all the paper patterns so you've got anything you can make with just one yard so beds for animals that's a fun little checkers game some bird mobile so there's an apron a nice bag some little lunch box see i knew i wasn't the only one that bought things so I was, oh look at this this is really fun so you have a little spot to put all of the things like when you separate your um silverware and stuff like that then i've got the sorry but i'm going to say bad words i have the stitch and bitch crochet from the happy hooker And I have to find it. $12. There are a lot of fun crochet projects in here. They always have in the beginning how to do things. So there's a lot of tutorials. And then you start getting into the projects. So I made a lot of the anarchy hats. Okay, not my fault. You guys know I'm really careful. So this book is falling apart. So you have to be a little bit careful with that. Uh, the purse there's there's another one with like rounded bottoms this one was really popular this one is called the fat bottom bag so that was extremely popular on crochetville and then the last one let me see where it is okay you guys don't think it's going to be crazy but this is really hard to find it's brand new well i mean it was it's been sitting on my shelf so it has shelf wear and tear but you're getting four books with numerous projects in it you want number 66 okay so you guys look at this for a second let me find 66 the handbag books number 66 put you up there done and so this is fifty dollars it is the entire first year of craft and what it is is in each one so they have like 23 25 32 and 29 projects oh vicky disappeared on us so like you can knit robots and it's not all knitting and it's not all there's like felted wool and there's sewing and there's embroidery and there's just weird random things so if anyone is familiar with craft i don't even know if it's still around i mean they did some really crazy things so that's an ant farm that's a room divider but it's not like real ants so there's different big tools and stuff felt wool and food hand stitch a hawaiian quilt purses there's crochet japan style super cute crochet pull tab flowers sew a tokyo punk t-shirt transform soda bottles into pop art oh i did this one um crochet line do not cross and stuff crime scene and stuff like that do not cross i made a couple of these too so it's really fun in here there's a lot of really great projects okay I'm going to show you guys a bra, so don't freak out. And that shows you what type of projects are in here. They're really for the fun and funky people. Yeah, we just kind of buy things over and over again. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for popping in and hanging out with me. Everyone that's on the replay, if you see something you like, please just go ahead and send me an email and let me know. Flickr, the best way to sort, share, and showcase your crafts. That's when Flickr was really popular. That was like the only place, because you had to, you couldn't like on Facebook where you can just put a picture up. So if you were in like Crochetville, you had to host your picture somewhere else, and then you could copy it over, because places like Crochetville, they didn't have the, the bandwidth or whatever it is like that to hold the pictures, so you had to host them somewhere else and then just put a copy. So when someone clicked on it, it would like take you to Flickr and stuff like that. 
thank you. Go ahead, whatever you guys find, you know, email me when you want. Let me know. As I said, give it a little bit of time. Let everyone get a chance to look at it. And then if we need to split things up, I'll do the best I can. I just didn't want to. Oh, look, yeah, see, there's some wear and tear on it. But the books themselves are in really great shape. I didn't want to... If I got like what 300 magazines or something, there was no way I could keep track of everyone individually. And you can always donate them or sell them yourself, give them away as gifts. If you do a blog or take them to your quilt group, the ones that you don't want and stuff like that. So there's always something you can do with them. So thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, I was going to tell y'all something, but I can't remember. So it must have been a lie, is what my grandma always said. Yep, that's it. Just thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for those that were interested in some of these. Thank you for helping me clear it all out. <laughs> well, Vicki, I don't want to go too slow because not everyone's interested in everything. So if I go too slow, everyone will be like, come on, Robin, just get past it. I'm not interested in the crochet or I'm not interested in the quilting. So we go fast. And you guys can always check the replay. I mean, you know, when you see something, you know if you want it. But we only went through and sold a small portion of things. You guys, even the ones that were here for the whole time, you can go back and rewatch the video and pause and see the different magazines. As I said, you can look them up online on the magazine's well websites and see what patterns are in it and see if it's something you want. And then just go ahead and contact me. I'm, I 100% tell you I'm going to be a little bit slow getting these out. Anyone who's purchased something in a flat rate envelope, once you guys pay, it'll go out in the mail the very next day. Super simple. But for anyone that purchases a book, it might take me a little bit of time to get things packaged up to get up to the post office and get it mailed out to you. But when I say a little bit of time, it's still going to be less than a week, so it'll be great. Don't think I have anything else for you. Thank you for watching my tutorial today, and thank you for everyone who gave me tips and tricks on the way you guys do it. As everyone's been trying to explain to me the way they do the lining with the outer bag, I can picture things in my mind that is a little bit easier than the way I showed you. And so there's different things I'll try again. If I come up with something that's super easier, a combination of what everyone's shown me or just what anyone's shown me. Oh, I know what I'll show you. Yes, please hit the like button. Thank you so much. I thought I ordered my labels for the bags from Italy, but I think I ordered them from France. Yeah, I ordered them from France. So I got new labels to put in my bags. It's not super exciting, but I think when you put your own label in it, then it becomes more professional and exciting. So I got the ones that you fold over, and I think I picked a good font for myself. It was nice and funky. And I couldn't pass up the deal because it was like buy a hundred and get a hundred free. And you guys know how many bags I make. So there's the RS Island Crafts. So I'll be able to fold it up like this. And then I can sew it like where my pocket is on the inside of the bag. And then I'll have a nice little label for it. So when you guys buy my bags, then you can go and take it out and... When someone says, you know, where'd you buy it five years from now, if you don't remember, or you can just show them my name or something in there. I just think it kind of makes it a little bit more, more professional. Thank you. I thought the font went really good with when I put up the picture and you guys can see it on your little side list on YouTube. It kind of matched the font on there. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I, I think they're really kind of cool too. And it was, it was a good price because sometimes labels can be very expensive. I bought some in the past before. That's why I haven't been buying any. And I spent, you had to spend like $20 to get someone to put this into their little computer and memorize it. And then it was $25 for like 25 or 30 labels. I ordered it off of Etsy. I will have, oh, if you can hold on. Let me see. No, I can't. I'm, I've got two separate Etsy accounts that I, I've got three Etsy accounts actually. One I don't remember the password for that keeps popping up. One I buy stuff and then one I sell stuff. So I will come back and I can't do it on the live stream. Carol, if you just go ahead and send me an email, I'll give you a link to it because I can't adjust the live stream. I can't put it down in the description box. 
I don't think I can pull it up. It's on my phone, of course. So let me see what happens if I pull up Etsy here. That's my stuff. I can't see your comments, so just hold on a second and I'll be right with you. Yeah, because somehow I managed to have a couple different Etsy accounts and not on purpose. Yeah, no. Sorry. Do I wear hats? No, I, I just can't. I just, I yeah, I ordered them from, yeah, I ordered from Etsy. So send me an email and I'll send you the link. Maybe if I can leave, yeah, just email me. That's the best. I, I don't really wear hats. I have a hat that I wear, uh, like an army hat that I wear when I mow just to to catch the sweat so it doesn't pour in my eyes. But I'm really not a hat wearer. I've just never been comfortable. I've worn baseball caps now and then, but I don't wear winter hats and I don't wear hat hats. Any other questions? We good? Okay guys, thanks for watching now. Thanks for hanging out with me to the end. Thank you to everyone who's coming back through on the replay and for those of you that are rewatching it. It's now almost 6.30. That means it's time for me to sit in my chair and fall asleep while watching Harry Potter. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.